I applied and won the green card two times. I helped my brother, guided him through the process. He applied and he won. My friends have applied for the green card. They were lucky enough to win. My subscribers who met me on YouTube last year applied and some of them were lucky enough to win. What am I trying to say? I'm trying to say you can immigrate to the United States of America without having a family here, without getting an employment here. You can come to America on green card without knowing anybody in America. And if you want to find out how, stick to the end of the video and then you'll find out the requirements that you need to apply for the green card lottery in 2023. Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Nafula. If you've not subscribed to my channel, I highly recommend that you subscribe. But if you've already subscribed to my channel, I just want to say thank you for subscribing and thank you for watching my videos. As I promised uh, the last time, I was going to show you a picture of a DV lottery winner. So today I'm going to be showing you a DV lottery winner. He's a DV 2023 winner and we'll be analyzing his picture that he used uh, on his application. His name is Juma. So we have permission to use uh, his picture. So with this picture, according to him, he did not go to a studio. So with this picture, he actually, his friend introduced him to DV Lottery and then um, he took this picture with a phone, a mobile phone, a mobile device. So he did not take a, using a camera, he took the picture using a phone and then um, probably edited a little bit to meet the requirements and this is the picture that had him win the DV Lottery. So he won the DV Lottery um, DV 2023 he's from Tanzania so if you follow him on Instagram uh, probably you've seen this picture because a lot of people were asking uh, what picture he used to win the DV lottery so I'm gonna show you all so that when you uh, take a picture um, you're able to compare your picture to this one so let's start looking at this picture let's analyze it first let's look at the background that's the most important thing background has to be white or off-white so as you look at this background here and the background here is uh, at least a white or an off-white let's look at the image the image is in color so the image itself is in color you can see the color of the shirt you can see his color so the image itself is in color but then the background um, of the picture is white or off-white let's look at the size of the head the size of the head like you said in the DV lottery, if you haven't watched my video, you have to go watch my other videos. So the size of the head has to be 50 uh, to 69%. And if you measure this image, like from up here all the way to down here, like if you go, we measure the height, you'll see the head itself, it takes at least 50% or more. In this case, it's more of the height. So the head itself meets requirement because from up here to up here is at least 50 to 69 percent let's look at the hairline you see in this picture you can see the hairline so that's important that you your hairline needs to show unless you're a muslim and you're wearing a hijab but do not wear a hat okay so when you look at his eyes what do you see the eyes are looking directly at you which means he's looking directly at the camera uh, and that's what you're supposed to do. Don't, don't look on the side. Don't look up, not down. Don't close your eyes. Your eyes need to be uh, looking or facing directly at the camera. His face is neutral. When you look at his face, he's not smiling. He's not sad. You cannot be able to tell the emotions at the time when this picture was taken. So that means that his facial expression was neutral. Look at his ears, you can see both ears. Both ears are visible uh, in the image. He is not wearing any headphones. He's not wearing any eyeglasses because those are not allowed. He's not wearing a hat. Also, if you see his outfit, he just took a picture in the regular clothes that he wears every day. So this is a pretty nice picture. It's a picture that meets requirements and like I said he won the DV lottery and is one of the people that I'm hosting in New York and he's here so he made it to America 
using this picture so if you were taking a picture uh, make sure you compare and it you know it looks similar or close to something like this also I'll be showing you a picture of other you know DV lottery winners so that you know you have a variety to compare your pictures uh, with so let's look at the properties I know the date will be a little bit off because you know I've been playing with it saving it and stuff like that so the date will be a little bit off so let's look so this is the information about the image the file just his name so in your case you'll just you can put like the file name as your first name middle name and last name the document is a JPEG remember I told you about the format has to be a JPEG the size has to be less than 240 KBs so his was 51 KBs which is less than 240 KBs the date here probably was like six months prior to his application or placing an application and as you can see the size in pixels is 600 by 600 which meets the requirements so this picture meets the requirements to the T so if you go here you'll see the pixel height is 600 and the pixel width is 600 so that's why I told you like it's important that your picture is a square 2 by 2 so when you are actually editing the pixels they will match if you want to change it to something 600 by 600 800 by 800 it's gonna work because it's a square so when you take a picture make sure it's a square so again this is a DV lottery 2023 winner from Tanzania he took a picture with a phone and he was able to win the DV lottery see you next week when I upload my other videos. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share these videos with your friends, with your relatives, with anybody who is interested in applying for the DV lottery. Thanks for watching.